Last night, I watched the sequel to The Collector. It's called The Collection. Clever name for a sequel. Uh, and I said in the Collector movie review that I have seen both of these movies before. Probably, I don't know, maybe around when they came out. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, it's been a long time. I remember The Collector being significantly better than The Collection. But uh, to be honest, The Collection was pretty good. Um, I do still think The Collector is significantly better. I think the pacing of The Collector is better. I think the lower body count and higher anxiety stakes of The Collector is better. Um, but I also understand that being a sequel, it's uh, it's hard to recapture that same spirit again. So The Collection, this movie takes a little bit more of like an action torture kind of vibe. At the very start of the movie, there's like a rave and like the collector kills like almost if not everybody at the rave like he's got some giant lawnmower blade that cuts through the whole crowd there's like i mean that scene it sets up the movie to be like yes this is going to be a little bit more campy this is going to be a little bit more actiony less of what's going on in the first movie i mean like you kill like 200 people in the opening sequence you know in the whole of the first movie i think he kills like like 10 people maybe and then the opening sequence, there's like 200 plus murders. I mean, so it's a little campy. But you know what? The effects are cool. Uh, and so, you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. So anyway, the collector takes uh, some daughter of a rich guy. The rich guy like hires like an assassin squad. And the assassin squad uh, gets the guy from the first movie uh, to go to like the collector's fucking like hideout. So they go to the hideout to save the bitch. And then the whole squad basically ends up getting killed, essentially. Um, and so I would say pretty much everything after the opening sequence, I thought it was I thought it was really good. I thought it was pretty solid and on par with the first movie. It's just that my opinion of like the opening sequence, I love the mass murder. I think it looks really cool visually, aesthetically, but plot wise, story wise, I just think it's a giant. Like if we're talking about like this is the 18th movie in the series, right? But this is like the second movie in the series and they're already like raising the stakes so much. Now again, there was going to be a third collector movie called The Collected. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but as of right now, there's only two films in the series. Uh, so anyway, the character from the first movie, I think his name is Arkin, um, you know, he is forced by the assassinations or like the hit squad, you know, like they got like, like they're like a private investigator team with guns or whatever. And they go to kill the collector and save the kid, but like, they're not law enforcement, right? So they kind of just kind of kidnap the main character from the first movie, Arkin, to bring him there. He doesn't even want to be there. And then like, for most of this movie, there's kind of like four factions going on. Like there's like the kidnapper victim from the beginning of the movie, the rich guy's daughter, right then there's the collector then there's like the hit squad with all the guns and then arkin like escapes from them because he just wants to get the fuck out of there right he doesn't give a shit he wants to get the hell out of there um so there's like four factions going on right at like at any given time in like the middle arc of this movie and i thought that that was really good because like you know arkin is escaping from everybody he just wants to get the fuck out right and then the 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 guys with guns like the the murder team or whatever they're looking for him because you know i don't know whatever the collector's running around he's killing some random people that he has like in some rooms and shit i don't know i think the collection is a good movie um I definitely thought that it was better than I remembered. I thought that this movie was a lot worse the first time I saw it. Uh, but seeing it a second time, I think it's a lot better. I think the, you know, again, my what I like about the first movie so much is not nearly as present in the second movie. So all my favorite parts from The Collector are kind of just thrown to the wayside for this movie. Uh, but, you know, bringing the characters over, the same guy from the first movie going through the second movie, that's cool. I like that. I like when protagonists can survive for multiple films in like horror franchises. I think that's cool. Um, I think that the uh, art, uh, like the tube things going on at the end, I don't even like, you can kind of see it in the movie poster here. Like there's these weird tubes. I don't even know what the fuck. That's cool. 
the aesthetics of this movie are really cool. Like the he's in like this abandoned motel or hotel thing, right? So it's like he's got like a lot of cool rooms. I think that the movie overall aesthetically it looks great. There's lots of good gore. There's lots of action scenes, lots of like decapitation, lots of like, you know, juicy murder. Um, but it misses a lot more of the anxiety stakes of the first movie. Because, you know, again, it's hard to re uh, redo the same magic in a sequel. And I feel like, you know, they got rid of all the, the high stakes anxiety. And they had so many characters that they're just killing them all off so much that it kind of, you know, it was kind of obvious like which character would be killed uh, next because they were just killing them in the order of like least important to most important right so it's like I don't know but either way it's a solid sequel uh, I would love to watch a third movie in this franchise I think it's a good one I think that the main character like the aesthetic you know the mask the costume I think it's great um, and the ending to this movie is really good I don't know if I want to spoil the ending but the ending of this movie is really really good it sets up like a it sets up like a really interesting third movie that was in development and again to this day 10 years later still hasn't happened um but yeah i mean i thought that the ending was great i thought a lot of parts in this movie were great i just think that the first one is better in every way but you know what that doesn't make the sequel bad and uh you know i recommend watching both of them i saw them both for free on amazon prime video um and so you know if, if you have access to that then there you go um, but yeah, that's the collection. And uh, uh, once again, tonight, I want to say this in advance. Uh, today, I should say, I'm going to be doing a double feature. Uh, so tomorrow morning, I will review these two movies. Uh, Scooby-Doo, Zombie Island. And uh, the Scooby-Doo, Courage the Cowardly Dog crossover film. I've been watching Courage the Cowardly Dog again recently. I've been watching the old Scooby-Doo from the 1960s uh, recently as well. Um, and so I wanted to try to watch a couple of the uh, Scooby-Doo movies uh, throughout this Halloween. And I forgot until I was looking through that there was the Courage the Cowardly Dog. So this is like the first time Courage the Cowardly Dog has come back in any animation form in like 20 years. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, but uh, there you go. That's the collection. I'm going to be watching some Scoob. A little bit more lighthearted. Uh, but that's going to be great. Um and so the collection there you go check it out that's all i have to say on that one